Raila Odinga. Kwingine yako mtazamaji wa siasa wako nchini wamekuwa mbioni kuwinda kura ya vijana kutoka kwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta, Kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga na Naibu Rais William Ruto pamoja na wanasiasa wengine. Vita vya kupata sauti ya vijana vimekuwa vikishika kasi. Lakini je, vijana wana sehemu gani katika siasa za Kenya na mchango wao ni upi? Tumpate mwanahabari wetu Emmanuel To na taarifa hiyo. Ultimately, completely imperative that we ensure that our youth are consulted regularly. Kwa chini ya mwaka mmoja na miezi saba, taifa litakuwa likielekea tena kwa uchaguzi mkuu. Kulingana na shirika la takwimu nchini KNBS, vijana ni takriban asilimia sabini ya wakenya wote milioni ya nane. Wingi wa vijana, ni kichocheo kikuu kwa wadau kwenye ulingo wa siasa na kila anayenadi sera zake anao vijana kwenye ajenda zake kuu. Ila kwa sasa mtihani mwingine kabla uchaguzi wa mwaka kesho ni kura ya maoni kupitia ripoti ya maridhiano BBI. Tutaleta atikazi tuzalisha million 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 kila mwaka million jobs kwa vijana. Even the past has shown that uh, politicians approach young people with sweetness but indeed whenever they take power they don't address the issues that affect the youth Kufuatia joto hilo la BBI vijana wamekuwa nguzo kuu ya kusimamisha siasa nchini Naibu Rais William Ruto amekuwa akiendeleza kampeni za kuwalenga walalahoi maarufu hustlers kibwagizo hustlers kikionekana kunata kama gundi Hivi punde Rais Kenyatta naye ameonekana kutafuta ungwaji mkono wa vijana akitumia mradi wa kazi mtaani kama chambo. Hata hivyo, kampeni hizo zimewaweka vigogo hao katika njia panda wakiraruana kwa meno ya juu. Ili kuja hapa kutuambia hapa wilbaro ni kuja tu achukua. What is why why what policy is that? Na ni nini? Kurudisha watu eh huko kwa mababu zetu wakati walikuwa nasukuma wilbaro za wazungu. Sasa tofauti ya hiyo kazi mtaani na kununulia mama wilbaro aweke matunda yake ndiye aweze kuuza iko iko wapi tofauti kihistoria misimu ya siasa nchini imekumbwa na rabsha si haba mara kwa mara vijana wakitumika kuchochea ghasia hivi karibuni pamishuhudiwa soko moko kwenye mikutano ya hadhara katika mkutano uliotibuka wa Kenol kaunti ya Moranga vijana wawili walipoteza uhai je nini kinachowachongea vijana na mustakabali wao ni upi because of the unemployment of the youth it is very very easy for you to be able to get them together offer them something very small and they will be able to be singing your song you know and um, unfortunately um, they they will sing your song today and they will sing the other person's song tomorrow depending with how much you pay once you are able to involve the youth in the productive sector of the economy we will not even be able to see youths attending rallies for example on a weekday which is also okay is a political right but rather the usage and the, you know the continued manipulation of the youth by our political class can only be stopped through one creation of jobs ingawa ni wengi nchini mara kwa mara vijana hutumika kuchochea ghasia haswa za baada ya uchaguzi mkuu na tunapoelekea katika uchaguzi mwingine mwaka ujao sasa ni jukumu la vijana hao kujikwatua na kuweza kujimarisha na kuweza kupiga siasa safi Emmanuel To KT News Nairobi Shukran mwanabari wetu Emmanuel Tok